are back with another weekly vlog. So we're starting out Monday morning with the morning beverages. And I'm currently staying at my sister's apartment downtown while she's in Europe. And I actually gifted her my Nespresso because I wasn't using it. So it worked out perfectly because I've been using it every morning while I'm here. I also brought over my milk frother so I can make oat milk lattes. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just using my favorite oat milk from Elmhurst. Before my coffee, I like to have my AG1 and shout out to AG1 for sponsoring this video. If you guys have been following me, you know I've been drinking this pretty much every single morning for the past, I don't even know how many months, but I started back near the beginning of the year. So it's been quite a while and I've been really enjoying it. It's a super convenient way to get in your foundational nutrition through 75 different vitamins and minerals that are sourced from whole food ingredients. I also love that they have these travel packs. I actually brought these to Costa Rica and I brought a box over to my sister's house so I can just continue with my daily healthy habits. I also love knowing that this is filling in the gaps of any nutrients I may have been missing in my diet. I also swear to you, I feel more energized and just like clearer immediately after taking this. I don't know if it's placebo effect, but it definitely makes me feel better. And if you haven't heard me talk about AG1 before, I do have a promo with them that is still active. So if you order through my link that I'll share in my description box, you're actually gonna get a year supply of the D3 and K2 drops, as well as five of these travel packs for free. I have brunch plans with a friend in about 45 minutes. So I'm just getting ready. You probably can't tell, but my skin had a bit of a freak out. I like packed on the makeup today to try to conceal it. I really try to not take clear skin for granted because as soon as my skin starts breaking out, I am quickly reminded by how much it actually affects your life. When my skin is bad, I don't want to look in the mirror. I don't want to leave the house. And I know it sounds dramatic, but it really does affect how you feel about yourself, for me at least. I've been doing a lot of back and forth between my apartment and my sister's apartment downtown. And so I haven't been sticking to my regular skincare routine. There's also been a couple nights where I haven't washed my face. My diet has also been all over the place. I think I've been eating too much sugar. I just, I haven't committed to a grocery shop because of the back and forth. So I haven't been cooking at home. I've just been eating out a lot. I think this is the result of all of that. So, I need to get back into routine. This is backfiring on me. We're going to Cafe Medina. I love their waffles. Do we just indulge this morning and then get back to healthy routines after? It's probably what we're gonna do. It's a little bit cooler today, so we're wearing a sweater. This is the fit. Super casual. I'm gonna head over a little early. Medina usually has a little bit of a wait, so. so I'm gonna put our name down. I'm meeting up with my friend Tara. She's actually based out of New York, but her boyfriend lives here, so she stays in Vancouver every once in a while. Um, hello. Look how cute you look. I ran over to Cafe Medina and it was an hour and 45 minute wait, so we're not doing that. Tara recommended a place called Saunter. I think it's a cafe. So I'm walking over there and we're gonna check it out. Just got back from coffee. We ended up going to Saunter, which is a cafe in Gastown. Um, oops, sorry, girl. We ended up chatting for like two and a half hours, so it's 1.30 now, I think. We just had coffee and a snack, so I need to eat something. I actually picked up this protein shake the other day, so I think I'm gonna have this. I also have leftover butter chicken and then cottage cheese, banana. I have some things to eat here. I ended up sitting down and edited a vlog and posted it, so if you missed it, I just uploaded my weekend. Um, we went to the 50 Cent concert. I give you a little dating life update. So check that out if you missed it. And now we're gonna go for a walk. <laughs> what the fuck? She didn't even flinch. You wanna go for a walk? You don't? Normally she jumps up. I don't know why she's acting like this. Do you wanna go for a walk? Are you just too tired? What was going on there? Okay, I think she's down. I don't like to bring a purse or really carry things when I take Tika for walks. So I fold up her poo bags and I just stick it in my shorts. I usually just carry this and then I have a leash. It's 
rainy Tuesday and we are going thrifting. I'm gonna head over to the Richmond location because Hannah and I went there recently, but we didn't spend a lot of time there. I wanna go back and fully sift through all the stuff there. I also bought this brown leather jacket recently. It kind of stinks. I think whoever had this was a smoker and I don't know how you're supposed to get rid of that smell. I don't wanna be smelling like that every time I wear that jacket. So I'm gonna bring that back. Why is Value Village so busy? The entire parking lot is full. I think I just saw someone pull out though. Oh, there it is. I didn't realize you were still recording. Why is everyone at Value Village on a Tuesday morning? Let's go. We're leaving and I still have the jacket. I didn't find anything that I wanted to exchange it for. Also, apparently Tuesdays are senior day. You get 30% off. So maybe I'll avoid Value Village on Tuesdays. I just matched with this guy on a dating app and I kind of matched with him as a joke because we've actually met before. Let me know what you guys think about this. It's weird. Anyways, we met in Toronto. This was years ago. I went out by myself and I met him at a bar, like just randomly. And we ended up like going out for the night. We didn't stay in contact, but like a year later, he DMs me on Instagram. The way that he messaged me was like, he totally forgot that we had met. And so I sent him a photo because there was a photo of us and I was like, dude, like we've met before. Anyways, he totally didn't remember. And now we just matched and he messaged me and he doesn't remember meeting or talking. I'm assuming by the way that he messaged me, I'm like, dude, I know who you are. It also looks like he had a girlfriend like a month ago. So I think he's probably just like getting out there to get over it, you know, but come on, man. Like, am I that forgettable? Okay, haul time. For snacks, I got these cookies. They're gluten-free. I love this brand. This is my favorite flavor from this brand, but they also have some other good ones as well. Got a bag of mandarin oranges. These were two for $4, so I got almond and I think this is fudge flavored. Midday squares. When I was going to check out, these were in the line and it got me. So just a little pack of beef jerky. A can of Zevia. Oh, high achiever loop juice beet grape apple carrot celery lemon the reason i got this is because i picked up this antiviral potent herbal tincture the main herb in here is echinacea but there's also a few other things astragalus reishi mushroom licorice basically helps your immune system and fights off viral infections. Knock on wood, I literally haven't been sick in like five years. I always find like transitioning out of summer, people are always getting sick. So, protection. If I'm gonna get a big salad, it's probably gonna be this sweet kale one. It comes with a poppy seed dressing, roasted pumpkin seeds, cranberries. It's just nice, it's really crisp. You've got your kale, cabbage. What else is in there? I don't know, it's just like, Super easy, you can get a few servings out of this. Picked up this rosemary chicken breast to go along with it. I honestly don't really know how to use her oven here. It's a weird like microwave slash oven. It just like kind of confuses me. So I just bought this pre-baked one, but it looks pretty good. It doesn't look dry. There's like some sort of sauce and herbs on top. And then this is my favorite, barista oat milk. <laughs> bagel i'll add mayo please sure and that's everything thank you take a girl let's see if they got my order right today they got it right here's a little bit of cheese 
I came home for a minute because I needed to run a couple errands out here and I also wanted to pick up some more clothes. I am feeling so uninspired by my closet and I just wonder, does everyone constantly feel this way about their clothes? Or is it possible to get to a place where you open your closet and you have an outfit that you love for every occasion? I just, I feel like I'm constantly trying to get there but it's never actually been in that place. I have a bin of clothes down in my storage right now and it's like jackets and stuff. I think I'm gonna bring it up and go through it and then do another clear out of my closet because I need to switch over some seasonal things so I can reevaluate the stuff that I put away and like, do I really need it? Cause my coat closet here is already plumb full. So gonna have to get rid of, gonna have to get rid of some stuff. I wanna go back downtown. It's really nice out again. We had rain for a little bit, but the sun's back out and I wanna go around the seawall. I haven't been going to the gym this past week in a bit. I've just been doing long walks and I've been preferring it. And I think I'm just gonna take advantage of that while the weather is nice and while I'm in the city. And then I'll get back to the gym when I'm back here and the weather gets colder. But yeah, I'm wanting to head back like as soon as possible, but I'm waiting for a package. I ordered the UGG Taz shoes in the color, mm, can't remember the name of the color, but it's like a light beige and they're basically sold out everywhere. I found a random boutique in Montreal that had three pairs left in size nine. So I grabbed one. They were like a little bit marked up. I think just because they're in high demand. I'll have a link down below because you can get them on like stock X or something. That is the package I'm waiting on. I don't need it right now, but I don't really want it to sit outside my door. High demand, someone might steal my package, you know. <laughs> Did you go for a little swim? Now you look like a rat. <laughs> I'm making the rest of this salad for lunch. I love this dressing. Today was one of those days where I feel like I didn't really do anything. I don't really have that much going on in life right now, especially with work. Like I have a couple collaborations coming up. I'm making vlogs, but I just don't have any like big goals for work. And that's really been contributing to me just not feeling very motivated productive kind of just like what am i doing this camera's really doing me dirty these days dating update a guy asked me out yesterday and it's like i want to be in a relationship but i don't like going on dates and i'm like i have to do it to get somewhere he's sort of a mutual like i know him because my friend knows him but she doesn't know him well i don't know you guys i'm just like the thought of going on a date doesn't make me excited. Um, I don't know if me and this guy would vibe. I guess that's kind of the whole point of going on dates is to figure out if you do have a connection or not. It's just... <sighs> Why does dating suck so much? Good morning. I just recorded some voiceovers, did some edits, and sent this video off for approval because it's sponsored. I've also been living in this sweater. My work is basically done for the day. I just had to get that video sent off. This deodorant is the exact same color as these pants. I don't know why I think that's so weird. Anyways. I just woke up from a dangerous nap. Anyways, I need to start getting ready for this event. I think I'm gonna head back after the event tonight because I have three packages waiting at my door and I don't want them to get swiped. Okay, I, I just got a photo confirmation of one of my packages, and now I can see that there's three there. Unknown caller. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a fourth package. Hello? Hello, Okay, I'll buzz you in. There's gonna be four packages, I have to go back tonight. That's just like a pile up at my door asking for a problem. Okay, anyways, let's get ready. I can't tell if this is cute or not. I just put this graphic tee tucked into my skirt. And then I was gonna do sneakers. I'm gonna put these glasses on. I'm gonna go meet up with Lindsay. We're gonna have a little happy hour moment before the event at Brass Fish. So here's the fit. Let's go. Our, we thought it was Claire Redeems, 
when they read your astrological chart. to reveal a magic surprise. <laughs> okay, it's kind of weird. I came home to collect the pile up outside my door and I'm gonna unbox them later because it's a bunch of fall clothes and I think I'm gonna do a fall clothing haul. But I wanted to show you my new Uggs. I think these look really cute with jeans or leggings and like hoodies, crew necks. I love them. I went down to my storage locker and I brought this up. This has a bunch of my winter jackets. I need to get rid of a few, so I'm gonna go through this, see what I can get rid of because I don't have any room in my coat closet. I might put away some summer clothes. I don't know, I'm just gonna try to organize my closet a bit. <laughs> gonna stay in. I picked up a few groceries. I went to Whole Foods. They were out of the sweet kale salad so I ended up going to IGA as well. And IGA normally has these cookies but they were sold out. These sell out all the time. I have one left. I'm gonna have it with coffee tomorrow. I got Stroop waffles instead because gotta have cookies. <laughs> Kind of frustrated with myself because I did not think ahead and I probably have to drive back home again today I've just been doing so much back and forth. It's my friend's boyfriend's birthday party today, and it's Western themed I would want to wear my cowboy boots and I don't have them here I also just don't really have any going out clothes. I'm probably gonna drive back home to pick up some stuff I also kind of want to open my clothing packages so I could film a haul, but it's supposed to be hot and sunny today and I want to take advantage and I want to go to the beach and tan. And I need to wash my hair at some point. I'm like, do I just quickly drive back now, grab my stuff, go to the beach, then get ready? I think that's probably the plan. <laughs> Picked up all my packages. There was three boxes, but I consolidated them all into one. I'm really excited to check out the pieces. I also brought my thrifted pieces. I forgot to show you, but I ended up returning the jacket and I picked out a few things. I'm gonna film a separate video showing you guys all of those things, but it's gonna be like a collective haul. Um, I'm just going through the Starbucks drive-thru right now. I ordered a cold brew with vanilla sweet cream foam and I got the red pepper egg bites. We're making pretty good time. It's 1045. I should be back by 1130. I think I'm going to head over to Kitts Beach. We'll get there for like noon. Maybe stay there for an hour or two. I'm on a kale salad kick in combo with this rosemary chicken from Whole Foods. It's bomb. Quick update on the two men that I've mentioned. For the sake of this video, we're gonna call that guy Mr. Amnesia because I literally cannot believe it. I've been keeping the conversation going with him, sort of, and I haven't brought up the fact that we've met and interacted multiple times, and he hasn't brought it up, so I literally think he doesn't remember. The thing is, if I had been the one initiating the conversations, it would make a little bit more sense. But he came up to me at the bar. He's the one that slid into my DMs randomly. I don't even know how he came across my profile. And he was the one that messaged me first after matching. So it's like, 
he's made the first move three times, but never mentioned like, oh, hey, Mel. Like, it's honestly shocking and slightly insulting. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep responding. I just wanted to keep it going for a little bit to see if he would bring it up. Like, I actually can't believe it. So that is that. And then this other guy who's kind of a mutual, I don't really know what to say about that one. The texting vibe just kind of threw me off. And he messaged me again today trying to set up like a hangout because I was kind of like, said I wasn't really feeling a date. So he's like, why don't we just hang out? And I don't know, maybe I'm overreacting, but just like my first impression is that we would not vibe. Like I'm just not getting good energy from it. Not that like I'm getting bad energy, just like not compatible energy. So that's probably the end of both of those. Happy Sunday. I just had a shower and my hair is air drying. So that's what's going on here. Nothing exciting to report from last night. It was fun though. Just went to the birthday. It was in the back room of a bar. And then my friend Louisa, her fiance and I went to Greta and played some arcade games for a little bit. And then we walked home. I was on the fence of going out after my friend Lindsay ended up going out and we were going to meet up, but I just... I feel like I always regret going out the next morning. So I'm happy with my decision of staying in. I'm editing this video and we're already at like 22 minutes. So it's a pretty long vlog. I want to get it posted tomorrow. So I think I will wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this longer vlog. Make sure to follow my Instagram, TikTok, if you want to keep updated in more like real time. Planning out content, so... We'll be back next week. And one last thing, if you made it this far, um, I've run into a couple subscribers this week and you guys are always so nice and cute. Thanks for saying hi if you're one of them. And yeah, okay, see you guys next week. Bye.